Hey guys, Black Rose Duelist here. Um, finally this loads. I've been waiting for this to load for like 15 minutes. You guys know when there's fluffle or fright for news, I'll be on that. So I am here, like expected, bringing my fluffles to the full video long justice they deserve. Black Wings will probably get their own video too, don't worry, I love those too. But fluffles, for me, always come number one first. Anyways, um, the skip, uh, which we knew both of them were going to come. Number one, they're on the anime. Uh, Fright for March was really, was announced three days ago, and you can see Fright for Saber Tiger right there. They aren't slick. We knew Saber Tiger will come along with it. Obviously, they wouldn't put the art of it there. The card wouldn't also come in. Anyways, um, both of them are okay. Saber Tiger, you'll use a lot more. Um, but anyways, to the effect, Fright for March is kind of a trap, so I already kind of like it. Uh, when your opponent activates a monster effect or spell slash trap card, go away. I don't care if a page is unresponsive. Go bug someone else. Negate the activation. Uh, and if you do destroy the card, you can send one of those targeted Fright for monsters to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon one level 8 or higher Fright for monster. Fusion monster from your extra deck, banish it during your next end phase. So, if you think about this format, what target? You have Phoenix Chain, Compulse. I don't think bombless targets. I and the tons of monster effects like Squamata, Dragon, Trishula. Brionic? I can't think of that many cards at target. So, you, there's a lot of cards at target, yes, but ones that target your Fright Furs. I don't know if this card will be good enough to put in your deck instead of something like a Forbidden Lance or an MST. Because what you want is you want to get your Fright Fur. Uh, tiger out and just boom your opponent's field, but if they chain up Phoenix Chain, you can't do that. So I guess in that case, Fright for March is good. But if you're going for your Fright for Tiger, and then they have a Torrential, or they have a Solemn, or they have a Mirror Force if you attack, this won't do anything against it. Say you have two or three. Monsters on the field and they Dark Holt, you can't play Fright for March. Or they Mirror Force, you can't play Fright for March. Where cases like an MST or Forbidden Lance would have been much better. And now for the second effect, uh, negate, uh, you special summon one level 8 or higher Fright for a Fusion monster from your extra deck, but banish it during your next end phase. So, one thing I guess you could say is say they finish chain your wolf. You can chain this, negate it, and then you can summon your Saber Tiger or your Chimera Tech and then go directly for it. So I guess in that case, Fight for March is pretty good. But I guess we'll have to read Saber Tiger fully to see. But for right now, I don't think I'd play it just because not everything targets and I can see it being dead like Toy Vendor and stuff like that. So right now I play maybe one, maybe two. Uh, definitely in the side deck against Shadals because they target a lot, and maybe against Necros. But decks like Satellers and Klees. Klees don't really target, they kind of just floodgate. So uh, Saber Tiger now. I know this one's a lot better. March is, I would say March is a 7 out of 10. Um, Woodside. Uh, Fright for, sorry that took a while, I just... That was my first time really reading the card, so I didn't know if I would really love it or not. Uh, Saber Tiger. Uh, Dark, obviously. Fiend. It's at level 8, not level 9, right? Okay, so yeah, you can play this with the March. Um, 2400, decent-ish stats. Um, one Fright for Mon Fusion Monster. And one or more Fluffle or Agent Monster. So it's kind of like the... Ritual Beast guy that requires a fusion, and then one of the other ones. Um, so obviously you can use an Edgemp or a Fluffle. 
Um, so that's good. You always have one of those. As for fusions you'd want to get rid of, I guess a wolf, if it's Fina Shane, or a tiger, or something that's useless they don't need right now. Also, I wish they didn't call it a saber tiger, because I feel like tiger and saber tiger, too much similarities. Anyway, let's read the effect after my computer stops being laggy, and I don't know, it's like, it's, it's on a Yu-Gi-Oh wiki, why is it laggy? I don't know. Move up. I swear, computer, you don't move up, I'm coming for you. That's right, you, like, cells. Move up! Okay, not that high up. Go down. Go down! We were right there. Come on, come on. Here, maybe if we... I'm not taking this out, because it's actually... Come on. Successful. Be successful. No, it's not even going out! Okay, well, we know this much. When this card is fusion summoned, you can target one fright for monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. So you'll definitely have a fright for in your graveyard because you're fusion summoning one. So I guess that's already kind of getting rid of the minus you experience throughout it. Oh my gosh. So in that case, it's already pretty good. And. You're sending a Fright Fur with Fright Fur March, so you're going to get it back with... Oh, it, it, yeah, Fright Fur March counts as a Fusion Summon, so you will get the effect. Um, all Fright Fur Monsters... Jeez, I'm going to pause it. We fixed it! Okay, well, it's fixed. Um, I don't know what computer lags on a Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki page, but... Okay, second effect. All Fright for Monsters you control gain 400 attack. If this card was fusion summoned using three or more monsters, ignite you destroy by battle or by card effects. And then, um, um, using, okay, so if you used an Edge Imp and a Fluffle, basically, it can't die by card effects. Is it worth using the extra monster? Maybe, maybe not. If the Fluffle is useful for you, I wouldn't use it. If it was useful for you, I don't think it'd be worth it. But a lot of things do destroy. Um, since all Fright for Monsters gain 400 attack, uh, it will be 2800, so I don't really know what will be stronger than it to be destroyed by battle. But for the card effects, I guess Mirror Force, Dark Hole, stuff like that. I guess if you have the extra Edge Ember Fluffle, use it. So overall, I would think this one's really good. I would go for it. If you had a Tiger and a sheep and a leftover chain in your hand just use your fright for fusion nah not fright for fusion use your polymerization or your fright for factory to fusion them up if you have it. if you don't you don't really need to go for this but to get basically an extra 2800 beater and then make all your other ones better stronger so say you have your tiger and the saber tiger out uh, saber tiger makes them both gain 400 and the other, the normal tiger makes them both gain 300, so uh, 600 actually. So it'd be 1,000 extra to both. So that he would be 20, 34, and the other tiger would be 29. You have huge beaters out. That won't die by battle or by card effects. So I think that's pretty good. Tell me what you think about the new Fluffle Fright Fur monsters in the comments below. You know I'm always excited for Fluffles and Fright Furs, so I hope you guys are too. Uh, see you guys later. Uh, I hope my new parody will be out Saturday or Sunday, so get ready for that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.